Hey guys, so tonight I want to make another simple dish and it's called Cabbage and El Casanani and it's pretty much just uh, stewed cabbage with pork and we're just going to layer it just uh, pork, cabbage, pork, cabbage and what my grandmother would used to do is um, she would make it with haksa instead and the really thinly sliced pork that you use for shabu shabu but I'm just going to use ground pork and we're just going to stew it in some dashi and soy sauce and sake and mirin and yep yeah. It's a really good dish for kind of like a cold winter night, so if you guys are into it, just keep on watching. Okay guys, so I realized that I already started chopping and I wasn't taping. So I just had a super large carrot, but I cut in half, so what you would probably want is um, a medium-sized carrot and just finely dice it like that. And I took a onion and I'm just gonna finely dice it as well. So what you need is a casserole dish and it's way up there. I can't even get it, I don't know why it's up there. So I have to wait till my dad gets home till he brings the big ladder and gets it. So for the layers, what you're gonna do is get a big head of cabbage, or you can use um, puck sai, which would probably be a little bit easier to peel off. Um, this we're just gonna take off big chunks. Hopefully it will come off into full pieces, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, what you really need is around like 20 pieces. And then we're just going to blanch them in some boiling water. So I've got some water boiling. Now I'm just going to throw it in and just... Now it would be better if I actually had a pot that is filled with water, but... Whatever, I'll just roll this around. Now in the meantime, because cabbage has really thick stems, um, you just want to kind of shave it off a bit. So it kind of cooks the same. So this will suffice. Look at that, they just come off. Hey guys, so I'm not gonna wait forever for my dad to get the casserole dish from the top ledge over there. So I'm just going to use this pan over here and instead of cooking it in the oven, I'm just gonna cook it on the stove top. Okay guys, so what I have here is ground pork and what you can use is ground beef if you like. I personally would uh, prefer ground pork. It just, I don't know, I find it to be more flavorful. There's nothing more that I hate than raw meat. Actually, no. I hate the smell of open bananas. Ugh. Like when you bring bananas in like a cooler, it's the absolute worst thing ever. Anyway, so we're just gonna add this into the bowl. Now using tofu in this is optional. You don't need to. It kind of lightens it up. What you wanna do is buy just firm tofu, not extra firm and we're just gonna crumble it in there. Now you can crumble this or you can just slice it into um, little cubes, which probably be easier. And of course, when you mix this with the pork, it's gonna break up anyways. So now we're just gonna add all the ingredients. And we're just gonna add one egg. So I'm actually gonna add another egg. And now we're just gonna add some rice. And this is just um, leftover rice. Again, you can use breadcrumbs if you like. You can add as much as a cup of cooked rice. And this is just gonna make um, the texture a little bit more um, fluffy. And now I'm just going to add some flavorings, so I have some salt and white pepper. And again, this is going to be in kind of like a broth, so I'm just kind of adding a base. And I have some hot chili oil. 
and just a little bit of soy sauce and just mix it. So what I usually do when I'm like making meatballs or something that needs to be seasoned but it's um, it's raw meat is that I kind of cook a little piece just to see how it tastes and I'm going to add a little bit more soy sauce and I added some a little bit more of the salt and white pepper and so after you mix that we're just going to um, put it all together. Okay so to this pot I'm just going to add some just so it doesn't stick and I have the raw uncooked one and I'm just going to place it on the bottom Oops. and just in case it burns you can like throw out this piece so we're just gonna layer it with one of the cooked ones and it really doesn't matter if your leaves are torn you might just tear them anyways just so it fits in there. Now I save these um really nice leaves just for the top. So we're gonna put that on there. And now all we need to do is add the liquid. Okay, I'm not gonna lie guys, I've never made this in my life. Um, like from what my mom was telling me, she was, it's just a basic kind of like dashi soy sauce, sake mid in base. Um, I wish I kind of had a bigger pot, but we'll just do with that. I'm going to add, I don't know, I'm going to start with like maybe like two cups of water. And to that, I'm going to add some soy sauce, some dashi, Some hot sesame oil because I love this stuff. Now you can add it however much you like. And you want this base to be sort of um, uh, more flavorful because it's going to flavor the entire dish. So you don't want it to be weak at all. And I'm just going to add some socket. And you know what, I think I want to add some miso, so I'm just going to add some of that. Maybe about a tablespoon. Let that dissolve. I'm going to add a little bit more sake. And you can add some mid in. I can't find where I put, I don't know where I put mine, so I'll just skip that part. But if you want, you can add just a little bit of sugar. You don't have to if you don't want to. Now this is really flavorful. If you want, you can, um, instead of doing water and dashi, you can use um, kind of like a chicken broth. So I have this brand here. It's pretty good tasting. And it comes like that. So whatever you like, however you want to flavor it, that's awesome. So now we're just going to add the liquid to the, the pot. And you know what? I'm actually going to add another cup of water. So I'm actually going to add um, two cups, so total four cups. So just repeat the same process um, and we're just going to add it to that. So I'm just adding a plate to weigh it down. This is going to make sure that everything stays where it is when it's cooking. And then we're just going to gently simmer it. And cook it for about an hour. So this has actually been cooking for about two hours. I had it on a really um, kind of a simmer or like a really low boil. You don't want to have it 
anything higher than that. When you're taking this out, be careful. Whoa, look at that. So everything cooked through and we have really nice layers and the last thing you want to do is just ladle the sauce on it. And you can eat this just with um, white rice or you can, I guess you can eat it alone but having it with rice would be nice. Covered in the milk, I've seen it. It's okay, I only tape <clears throat> your best half. <laughs> Okay, so, tell me, taste tester son. Okay, not digging that. <laughs> Extremely tasty. Thumbs up. Awesome, and ignore this gong show that's happening here. This, this stuff here, ignore that. Oh yes, you need it with the rice.